it's time to dye my hair again I'm starting with a blonde canvas this time and I'm turning it into a rainbow of course so I will start by washing my hair with a pre-coloring shampoo just to remove everything that's in my hair like wax or other buildup and then I'm ready to get it dyed so I'm just letting my hair dry a little bit and I want it to be completely dry because it makes it easier to separate the parts but I don't want it to be fully wet either as you can see my base is not completely blonde but it's light enough to cover it with bright colors I don't want to bleach it two times which I would really need if I want my hair to be blonde as that causes extra damage too. So bleaching at one time and just getting this light base is enough for me. So I will just show you the things I use to dye my hair. I use brushes. I love just working with my hands of course with gloves on but using brushes can be handy for the roots just to make sure you don't mix anything up. Pins for the hair just to separate the pieces a comb and then my collection of colors even though most of them are in containers of directions that doesn't mean it's the original color in it I just like to reuse these ones and fill them with other brands as soon as I've used them up I mix a lot of different colors from different brands just because I like experimenting and just because I like to see if they stay in my hair longer especially the pink colors or red tones fade pretty quickly especially in summer and that's why I like to try different brands just to see if they keep in there longer um, of course I have all the colors of the rainbow some red a very bright yellow and I'm just putting them down here checking if I need to fill anything up maybe this one so just to show a few different brands here's Manic Panic Amplified they, those are very bright and last pretty long Arctic Fox has some nice colors too for example the bright yellow or the bright orange which is nice in summer and I'm just going to open them all up line them up like a rainbow on my working spot which I protect with a towel just to make sure I don't make a big mess I'm just lining them up and make sure every color has a brush and now as I get ready to dye it I have to decide where the rainbow starts with which color do I want to do a double rainbow this time or single do I want them to be straight diagonally or even shaped as a V shape it's nice to do something different every time and with my hair I prefer to only do the rainbow on top and my darker like my original hair color stays like this and and I'm protecting my my hair by putting some conditioner on it just to make sure the color doesn't stay on there pretty well so I just get some conditioner on a brush and put it on here And it's nice for the hair of course 
but it also really helps to get the color off easier to get the color off easier and you can just put it on as far as you want as much as you want of course if you're dyeing all of your hair rainbow you don't need to do this step and I'm now switching sides Flipping this to the other side. I have some really annoying short hairs here, but they go onto the rainbow. Basically what I'm doing is parting the hair, deciding where to start of course and with which color. And as I start, I try to just get the brush up right into the roots. And if you have this blonde base, it's pretty tricky to get it lined up well. But even if you mess it up, in the end, it doesn't really show. Just don't use too much color yet. If you're just working on the roots. And it's really a pain to get it off of your skin. So if you can avoid staining your skin a lot. That's nice. Trying to get all of these short hairs here. And it gets really much easier when you're getting to the lengths. Mm. Well, depending on the length of your hair, of course, because mine's not very long. So that's easier to handle. And then I just rub it between my fingers. To make sure the color has gone everywhere. Twist. And turn. To keep this out of the way. In between, I just use a paper towel 
to get the color out of my gloves because I don't want to get it on the next part. But I'm getting these out. And deciding on the next piece. This will be dark blue. Now I'm just going to dye the next part, grabbing a clean brush for the dark blue, getting some color. Just using my fingers again. And then again, just twitch the, twisting and turning to the side. Cleaning the gloves and deciding on the next piece. And again, doing the same. Okay, so I have the next piece ready, which should get green. Just grabbing a clean brush to get it off of the other hair. get the color on here just uh, like I did before starting with the roots
And you can also use a different color on the length than you do on the roots. Especially if you have longer hair. But for now I'll just be boring and put green all over this. And again, twisting and turning to put it on the side. For the yellow, I use a wider piece compared to the other ones because otherwise it will just end up blending in too much with the other colors. So I'll just check like this should be yellow, then there's orange, red, and at least pink. Just to make sure I have enough room for a minimum of three other colors. It would be very frustrating to end up with not enough space for the colors you want to use. So this very big piece will all be yellow. Mm -hmm. Let me just put another pin in here. Grabbing a brush again. I have to say I don't even know how many years I've been doing my hair rainbow right now. Probably four years. Oh, well, must be five. And it started by a joke. Just because I asked on Instagram, like, what color should I dye my hair next? And I got the suggestion to do a rainbow. And 
I thought, well, I never did it. But I can do it. Just give it a try and if it doesn't work, put some bleach on it and it's blonde again. So I tried and it became my favorite hairstyle. Everything matches my hair. The healthier your hair is, the prettier the colors will turn out, like more shiny. But of course, bleaching your hair is not very healthy for your hair. So. Now this is what I've left. I definitely need some pink. And I will probably do the back either purple or turquoise because those are my favorites. But first the pink. And as you cannot really see where it ends, it's easier just to use your fingers because you can follow along the hair and work by feeling where the roots are to make sure the color is everywhere. And there's the final piece. Maybe I should just split it up and do some purple and some turquoise. And if I want to view what I'm doing back here, I mostly use my phone like a second mirror. Or I ask my daughter, like my eldest one, just to check if everything has a color on it. Because you cannot tell back here if you miss the spot. But even if you miss a spot, it's really easy just touching up it, just touching up later. See some blonde hair. These short hairs. And then the final purple.
cleaning my gloves. <laughs> I'm using my phone. Not sure if you can tell. But I would say it can use some color still and the roots. Oh here you can tell. Besides that, I'm pretty happy so far with my mess. Just trying to follow along to find the roots here. But this is a piece of your hair that you won't be able to see yourself, so I don't criticize much. And if you have any spots on your skin, this is the right time to try to correct it. Using baby wipes works pretty well, or just some shampoo. I will just go and clean my brushes, take off my gloves and leave the coloring for a while. I would say a minimum of 15 minutes, but longer is okay. And if you're getting to ready to rinse it out, use cold water because using hot water I'll just make the colors fade even quicker. So even if I wash my hair, I use cold water. I know it's horrible. Not the most comfortable option, but it helps. And it also helps not to use shampoo for washing your hands. For washing your hair too much because it will arrange the color out quicker too. Just like most styling products will help the color fit. So I'll just get these ones clean and I will check back in maybe half an hour. So I'm going to rinse my hair and I'm going to use cold water just to avoid getting too much of the color out already. And don't forget to rinse the conditioner out of your hair if you used any to protect it. Um, as you can see it's still wet so I'm just going to... So I'm just going to blow dry it a little bit to show you the results. So this is it, as you can see, hopefully, the colors are very bright and depending on how you style your hair, it will be really showing the rainbow in different ways. And this very bright hairstyle only lasts like a few days, especially in summer. It fades pretty quickly in the sunshine if you don't use any protection on your hair or lots of styling products. But I usually keep my hair color in for three to four weeks before I need to redo it anyway. So just going to style it off and take some pictures for Instagram of course and of course
course there are people professionally dyeing hair so if you have one of those hairdressers close to you go there and try it but if not I'm just showing it's possible to do it at home. See ya!